Hey, today we're gonna make mayonnaise. Sure, you can buy this stuff, but making it yourself is way more delicious. Thousand times more delicious. It's, and it's really easy to make. A lot of people might kind of freak out about how it seems kind of tricky, because what you are doing is mixing vinegar and oil together in emulsification. Um, obviously, vinegar and oil, they don't mix, so you kind of make a vinaigrette, really, it splits but the egg and proteins helps it bind together and you make this deliciousness, creamy goodness. So pretty easy, I'll show you how you do it at home. Actually, all you need is a whisk, a bowl, and a couple of ingredients. And I'll also show you how to do the different versions of it as well. So here we go. Start off with a mixing bowl, you need an egg, you can put the whole egg in there, but um, you get a creamier um, mayo if you just use the egg yolk. So we're gonna start off with that. You can, like I said, you can do the whole egg, but we're gonna do a, a richer version of it. Um, equal parts vinegar to egg. So if you got say 30 grams of egg you need about 30 grams of vinegar in it and if you put in a kilo of egg protein in it you need a kilo of vinegar so it's just equal parts that's all you need with that salt salt's really important you need to put that in at the start why because it affects the proteins of the eggs and it'll make it help emulsify a lot easier and will be more consistent without the salt it just doesn't seem to work as well so all you need Here, if you was to make a tartare sauce, you can put your cornichons, your onions, your pickles, your herbs, all in here. By this point, if you was to make a um, cocktail sauce, you can put um, tomato sauce and chili, Tabasco in there. If you was to make a um, Caesar dressing, you would put um, anchovies, garlic, if you was to make an aioli kind of, it's not exactly nutritional aioli, but if you was to make a mayo, you can put your um, garlic in here. Um, a trick with this is you, you get a tea towel, you spin it around, you make a little foam hat, put it on there and you put your bowl and it holds it all there for you. And then you get your oil. What kind of oil? Well, Caesar salad often use um, virgin olive oil, but I aim for just a normal vegetable oil. Something that's quite neutral, you don't want it to taste too much because it will really come out in your mayo. So it's best to just use a neutral style. I like grapeseed oil. You start off whisking and you just add a little bit. You'll find that the egg to oil ratios will be 10 parts oil to one part egg. That's why we only done with just an egg yolk because a full egg will get me probably almost a litre of um, mayo where just one egg yolk won't get me as much. So from here you just want to put a little bit in, whisk like crazy, put a little bit in, whisk like crazy, again, and you just keep repeating the process. Um, there's other dressings like ranch, ranch I think you just put herbs and that in it. You could do that from at the start as well before you start putting oil in. Oh, and it gives you a great workout. This is very similar to making a hollandaise sauce but instead of using oil you use ghee, a clarified butter. And oh yeah, the vinegar. You can just use any kind of vinegar but Traditionally, it's done with a tarragon vinegar. It's tarragon infused vinegar, which you can buy or you can make yourself, which you just use. You just get some white vinegar. You bring it up to a bit of warmth. You don't want to boil it. You just want to, um, then you add some fresh tarragon, some um, peppercorns, and just let it sit. I think there's one other thing for it, but I can't remember what it is. So you just keep whisking it. As you can see, the more oil I put in it, the thicker it becomes. 
and you'll find that the, you want to just keep adding oil gently. Don't put it all in at once. And be confident because a lot of the times people start freaking out from here. They look at it and they go, oh no, I think it's starting to split and then they panic. Don't, just keep following the instructions and just going with it. As you can see, you know, like we're putting a good 10 times, 10 parts to the actual egg. So you can, one egg yolk can get a fair bit of mayo. Um, traditional French mayo likes to really build this up and make it really thick. Um, but I think in Australia we tend to have it a little bit softer and less oil. But from here you can pretty much flavour with almost anything you want. If it does start to split and it's starting to curdle, you can try and save it by adding a bit of lukewarm water and keep whisking. And as you can see, it's nice and thick. And that's what you want. Perfect mate. It doesn't take long at all. It's pretty easy. You should make it at home. It's better. This thing will sit in a nice um, airtight jar for three or four days. Um, from here, you can put tomato sauce in there. You can put which makes a nice cocktail sauce, some garlic um, to make a aioli or a mix for your tartar sauce or Caesar. It's delicious. It's better than anything you can buy at the shops because there's no preservatives, there's no gums, there's, there's no sugars. It's just deliciousness. There you go. See you next time.